I've just licked a bit of my nail and it's really spicy. But my nips are hard. Hey everyone, it's your boy Godfrey and welcome back to another episode. Today is going to be a fiery one because I've got three people to cook a spicy dish each for our singleton. Hopefully they're able to withstand the heat from her today. Time to meet our single lady. Hi everyone, I'm Chloe Beach and I, you may know me from Netflix's Too What To Handle, Perfect Match, etc. I'm a TV personality. I am here today to meet the love of my life, hopefully, if they can cook. Let's see how it goes. She's really pretty though. <laughs> She's pretty. What is your type? Someone that matches my energy. They have to be funny. Mm -hmm. They need to be able to have quick-witted banter. If you were to describe yourself as a condiment or a spice, what would you be? I would probably be Chipotle. Okay, why that? Uh, what's it's the a why? little bit spicy, mm -hmm. but then it's also a little bit mild, because I've got IBS. <laughs> now I'm a bit afraid that my food's going to be a bit too spicy. spicy. <laughs> Cooking spicy food for you today wasn't the best idea. I'll probably need a few trips to Ailey after. Oh, it might be too hot for you to handle. It might be too hot for me to handle. Let's see if we can turn up the heat in the kitchen for Chloe. And let's get the food out for you. Hi everyone, I'm Honora Adair and I've made some egg fried rice with a spicy chilli sauce and some chicken on top. My cooking skills are 10 out of 10. What makes my dish date worthy is like the presentation and most importantly the flavours. The food will speak for itself I think. Why is our face like that? <laughs> that rice looks so dry. Oh my god! Minimalistic, quite bland. I think they're very well structured in their life. That's hilarious. Because <laughs> I'm nice. a mess. I was expecting an array of like asparagus, steak, with like spicy chilli mayo or something. Well, it doesn't look spicy one bit. Damn. <laughs> I'm just going to shove it in. Mmm. Oh my god. Okay. 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 Yeah. <laughs> the way they've marinated and soaked this chicken is beautiful. They're definitely good in bed. Oh! Yes. <laughs> See? Look at the vocabulary. I do taste the spice. It's a little bit tangy, but it's not too much. I mean, I could live with this type of person. I mean, it doesn't say I love you on it, which was what I was expecting. Judge too quickly. It's the flavour. Because look, she loves it now. She's going in. This person is in their 30s and they'd look after me well. You know, the type to give you a foot massage before bed. But my least favourite thing, I mean, who would put egg fried rice with a chicken like that? I'm sorry. Uh, we were going so well. She loved it. They might have a bit of a bland personality. They're not showing me that they are a very fun, bubbly, energetic person. That's not true. I think the person behind this dish is mediocre. I think they may be like a, a solid five. <gasps> That's me. But that chicken did turn me on a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. So I think they could be good in bed. And that's half of what I'm looking for. I disagree. Like, that is some banging combo. Like, chicken and rice. Yeah, you can't go wrong. You thought like, I'd be a five out of 10, but I'm sorry. You are a 10. But he, I don't know, she was up and down, right? So she could come back and be like, that's actually the love of my life. That was dish number one. I'm ready to try it. dish number two. Hello everyone, my name's Gen, and today I cook curry udon and spicy lettuce wraps. So I'd say my cooking skills are kind of like a hybrid between my Japanese and a bit of the French side. My dish is date worthy because essentially, it's filled with love, a lot of care, and it's got my personality all written all over it. Wow. Now this is like marriage material. <laughs> yeah. Could be someone that's really well put together. You know, I feel like I got my stuff together. Or their life is a complete mess and the only control that they have with their life is the ability to cook. Could be a psycho. Taste it, guy. You got to taste it, man. Wow. There's so much going on in my mouth right now. I can hear, I love you, Chloe. Oh, yes, yeah, so she liked it. She's gone in for a second time as well. Cool. Oh, there it is. Oh, is it too spicy? Is it spicy in her? <gasps> oh, Jesus. Oh, no, she don't like spice like that. The food is making me go weird. <laughs> it's taking over my body. That's good, that's good. <laughs> you use your mind a little bit. This tells me that they've got their life together. And that is something I need. I don't need chaos. And I've got the sense that they're extremely good looking. But like my nips are hard. You could take it home, you know. I get 
sit your ass down now, babe. Let me take care of business. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one of them really sensual kisses that like hasn't got too much tongue, but likes to put a tiny bit of tongue in just to... There's a lot there. Definitely has dating potential. But the spice was a little bit too spicy for me. But maybe they can account for that in other areas. Yeah. I could work, I could work with that. Their personal message to you was... I cook every day, so if you want to be my professional food taster, just let me know. <laughs> okay. They're either really sexy and they're really good at cooking, but then who's really sexy and is really good at cooking? Do you know what I mean? I think she liked my food. Can't really complain, I think she likes the whole thing. She did say I might be compensating for my looks, and I don't know how that lands. I feel like there's a lot of good competition here, but I'd say I'm fairly confident. That was dish number two. Now we've got to go to dish number three. Hey everyone, I'm Heather, and today I've made a braised oxtail pepper soup with some heart-shaped yam. I put a whole scotch bonnet in there. And what makes my dish special is the fact that it has been slow cooking for a good amount of hours. So I put a heart and a yam. Whenever you heard that before, I've added it. <gasps> there's love hearts. Now this says I love you, Chloe. That is very cute. I ignore all red flags. I think the dish itself screams I'm caring. Please look past my cooking. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I'm a girl that loves to eat. And I don't know if this is gonna fill me up. Like maybe they would. <laughs> I love this. Yeah. Off you go. Oh, f I've just licked a bit of my nail and it's really spicy. No! Just that taste alone. This person's definitely like got a devil in them. I'm so sorry, I can't. Is it too spicy? I'm way too... She literally spit out my heart. Wow. Let me try the meat. Ah, I'm getting it everywhere. It's really messy. It's squirting at me. Let me try the soup. Just going to pick it up. It's really salty. Can I open her up to new horizons, new yeah. flavours, like new cultures? Open her bowel. This screams, butch. I think they've got muscles. I can, I can feel it. I don't have muscles. They're six foot five and they're gonna chuck me around. I'm gonna chuck her around. Ooh. This might be too hot for me to handle. I never thought I'd ever say that. I put a whole scotch on it. I did say. <laughs> I love it. Speaks a lot in their personality. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you, you, you killed her. This screams sex god, I think. I just wanna pick you up and rah. Ami! <laughs> My eyes are watering. I think that she was honest, open. She showed her personality, which is a bit spicy. Um, she was open to my food, which is spicy. And so I think we're gonna have a spicy little reunion when we finally meet. I think I have good chances, you know. I feel like I might be the one where it's like, ah, oh, just give it a chance. That was it for dish number three. And now I have to make my final decision. Dish one, love the chicken but I mean egg fried rice, come on mate. Dish two, loved it. The curry flavour, there was lots going on, so much care and effort put into it, but they might be OCD and they might not go with me. Dish three, a little bit too spicy, but I did love the thought in the love heart. Now it's time to make my decision. The dish in third place is... Dish number one. Aww. It's just too basic. I'm a princess and I need more effort, but egg fried rice, not a bit of me. Hi. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I slagged off your egg fried rice. Yeah, you were hitting on my egg fried rice. I'm so sorry. And you said I was a five out of 10. I'm could not have been. sexy. I said you could have been. You're gorgeous. Too late for that now. <laughs> uh. I thought the flavours would do the talking. The chicken was chicken. banging. The chicken was you banging. The chicken. You literally, the chicken <laughs> is. That's the friend zone high five. It was a okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was not what I was expecting at all. She was gorgeous. Her boobs were amazing. <laughs> and she was a girly girl. She was giving princess. But her food wasn't. The person in second place is dish number two. I mean... I thought she liked my food, I man. I like, Absolutely loved it. But in my head, I'm like, are they too clean? I've had exes before that have been absolutely psychotic over me not folding the washing properly. Hi! <laughs> nice to meet you. Oh my God, your oh. food was stunning. I 
think I've made the wrong decision. <laughs> I can't lie, I feel like you really like my food, but you really weren't feeling the presentation. Like. I just couldn't picture you. Because your food was gorgeous, mm. I just thought... Ah, compensating. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. He didn't match up to what I was expecting at all. I thought I was going to meet like a really geeky guy with a briefcase. I think I missed the trick with that one. I hope that dish number three brings as much spice as they put in their food, in their personality, in their style. Because if not, I'm going to be severely disappointed. Hi. Hi. Oh, you're beautiful. I'm Chloe. Coming. It's so nice I'm to meet you. Nice What's your name? Honestly, it was really spicy. It was really spicy. But you are really good looking. Thank you're you. gorgeous. Thank you. Nah, she's actually a sweetheart. I'll throw you around though. I'm more of a gentle lover. <laughs> um, I probably will not be carrying you around. I also don't really have muscles. I have a great body. Mm -hmm. Not really muscles. I went for my gut and it paid off. She's beautiful, like she's stunning. And she was confident. And that is the type of spiciness that I knew they were gonna bring. I knew it, I knew it. My first impression was, oh, she's really beautiful. Um, seems very spicy. If she's annoyed, she's gonna mash up my house. But she slightly scares me, I can't lie. Um, Are you going to exchange numbers? Yes. No. <laughs> I, can't I think you're a spicy person mm -hmm. um, and you kind of scare me because uh, I feel like, um, you know, your words can be a bit harsh and I'm quite sensitive. So maybe uh -huh. like some things you say will actually make me quite sad. Um, well, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to watch all of the other videos on this channel. And remember to like, subscribe and comment. I'm Chloe from season one of Talk to Handle and season five is out now. There's only a few episodes left, so don't miss out on the finale, because I want to see who wins, who doesn't. Tour to Handle Mobile Game 2 is out right now and I am your own personal love guru. So what are you waiting for? Go download it and let me help you find your sexy match.